it's not my job to warn you anymore. It's my job to point to the exits and also show you the mile markers. You know, um, time. How much time to arrival? I have no idea. You're seeing the birth of something entirely new. Uh, I have no idea how much time before whatever it is we're birthing comes out. But um, I can tell you that we, there are certain mile markers on the road. You know when the water breaks, you better be in the hospital. I know this sounds ridiculous, but it actually reminds me of Back to the Future Part 3. Speaking of science fiction, although this, I believe, actually happened. They just came back and erased the uh, facts. Anyway, um, Back to the Future Part 3. If you remember, they're going towards the cliff. They have this big choo-choo train. They're trying to get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour. They have certain places where they have markers where they have to throw another log on the fire. And if they don't hit all those markers, then what happens is they go off the cliff. Got it? I think this is my job. My job is to show you that we are, we have a, we have choo-choo train going over the edge soon. And my job has been, and I, I remember I was at Radio City when I was at CNN, and I, I said at the time, there's going to come a time when we're going to run out of exits. Well, I think we're approaching that quickly. Uh, and so my job will be to show you what exits we can take personally, we're too far as a country, and show you what we can do personally to preserve as much as we can and to hold together. We are way down this road and Al-Qaeda attacks were one of the first signs, universal health care, the religious organizations being demeaned, 17 trillion dollars in debt now. Gosh, think of that. Four years ago it was 10. Seventeen thousand dollars, a trillion dollars, the Muslim Brotherhood infiltration, being able to actually document that which we have, and no one even responding to it in the media, was a very very bad sign. Now we're into increased surveillance. They're saying now that they are going after your internet providers, and they are going to find them if they don't give all of the goods on you, and. That, that's just, that's outrageous, outrageous, and nobody's, nobody really cares. I mean, you do, I do, but nobody in Washington really seems to care. Taking away guns is a really important step, and free speech silence. I think this is going to go a lot faster than any of us think.